For the next 24 hours, I'll be attempting to make a commercial from start to finish. And not just a little commercial. I'm talking about a full length, one minute and 30 second ad that tells a complete story. I need to think of an idea, write a script, find a crew, film, edit, and export a finished commercial all within 24 hours. And I'm wasting time explaining the rules. So let's get started. Okay, it is three o'clock, Saturday, February 24th. I have to have this commercial done by three o'clock, February 25th tomorrow. Just saying that out loud makes me very nervous. Look, I like to sleep, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. Okay, so in order to make a commercial, I actually need a product to make the commercial about. And after brainstorming for a bit, I had the idea to make it for my friend Ryan's new candy company called Joyride. However, there's a problem. The candy sold out, which basically leaves me with one option. That's right, go directly to the source. Whoa. Looking for these? <laughs> yes, actually. You guys They're sold out on the website, so this is actually so yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, oh. for sure. Wait, did you guys see that? I'm pretty sure that shelf's full of Joyride. I thought they were sold out. Look on the commercial. Thanks. Okay, I have a lot of ideas of what the commercial could look like. But before I go any further and start writing, I actually want to find the music I'm going to use so that I can write to a specific song. So this is something that I really like to do. It really just helps me visualize and set the tone for the commercial before I start filming. This one is sick. For this one, I'm getting all the music from Artlist. So you might have seen in the Joyride launch video that the filmmakers did this really cool VFX shot of a floating sour strip. You know, and it got me thinking, could I pull off an effect like this in 24 hours? Well, there's only one way to find out. So here's my dollar store version of that effect, using some gaff tape and some invisible string I found lying in my props bag. I'm not gonna lie guys, it actually looks pretty good. This looks so good. I just said that. I have an idea. Okay, so now that I know the floating strip effect works, it's time to write the script. I decided to write this commercial kind of like a scary movie, where a man is stuck in an endless cycle of eating unhealthy amounts of sugary candy. While stuck in the sugar coma, the candy comes alive and turns on him. And that's when he realizes there's a better and healthier option, which is when he discovers Joyride. One more hour until we start shooting. <laughs> It's 528, it's time to film. It's my yellow shirt, just like you asked. Do one of the transitions where you jump and then it will be on. Okay. The magic of editing. Now that the crew's all here, it's time to sit down and read through the script of the commercial. Are you ready for this? Holding it like this? Yeah, cool. it's product placement. All right, cool. A man is sitting on the floor of his room eating from a bowl of sour strips. <laughs> Quick cuts of him throwing them into his mouth, hands reaching into the bowl, but as if by magic, the last strip crawls out. It crawls across the floor and finally under the door. He inches forward when a blurry object appears in frame left. It's the multicolored sour strip that crawled under the door. It's just dangling there in space. Dude, I just got... I, just got, yeah. I wrote this and I just got, <laughs> I just got chills. Have you seen Birdman? Yes, I love Birdman. Okay, Bird. you know that scene where he's walking and it's full of like Christmas lights? Yes. That's what I'm imagining for this moment. That's gonna be tough. After reading the entire script to Jake, we ironed out a few details, and then it was time to start prepping the bedroom for the first scene of the commercial. I'm not a production designer, I'm not a set designer, but I think this is looking pretty good. My strategy is just to throw more stuff on the ground. Let's get your hamper tipped over on its side somewhere. This is non-toxic. It feels like it's toxic, but I promise it's safe. It looks toxic. And action. We're basically just <laughs> stacking things in a row to add more depth to the dolly move. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Like it basically has motivation to like track through the mess, which eventually lands to Jake, who's the biggest mess of it all. <laughs> nice, <laughs> something deep there. Yeah. You just wanted me to do this so you could pick on me. I wanna make sure the shot is in focus before we move on. The shots were in focus. However, my gimbal skills aren't as polished as I thought they were, so we had to reset again to get some smoother shots. I don't know if I can do it. This is so hard. I don't know if you can do it. <laughs> I started today at three and it is now 6.45. We're four hours into this project and we still haven't even gotten the first shot. I'm gonna try filming to this one now and go a little bit slower. Nice little pause. Bro, this 
shot is well, good. How far into this 24 hour challenge are you? Uh, four hours. <laughs> how much more shooting do you have to do? I mean, this is the first shot. <laughs> this what? is the first shot? The first <laughs> shot always takes the longest. We'll be fine. It's it's thinking mighty fast. We're gonna get a ton of really close up montage shots now and then move into the hallway. <laughs> leaving. Good luck, y'all. Thank you. Will the movie be finished in 24 hours? It's gonna take a miracle. It will be done. That's right. It's good. I want it to look like a creature, if possible. Like, almost like it has, like, life to it. We've been at work. The boys have been tying up these strips for way too long. And it's taking forever. The key is to like do enough to where it feels like, oh wow, they put in some effort. Yeah. But then also go quick enough to where we don't kill too much time because we are on a time crunch. All right, I'm gonna start lighting this. At this point, it's 10 p.m. and we haven't even started filming the hardest parts of the commercial. Now, I thought we would be done filming by 10 p.m., but unfortunately, we still have tons of shots to get and it's starting to get past people's bedtimes. All right, so Tyler has to leave. I got a bail. Why We're, are you leaving? Here's the thing, it's like 10 o'clock at night now. We've shot like a third of this movie. I literally don't think Isaac is gonna be able to finish this. Hey. How many hours do you have left? Uh, 17. <laughs> I don't necessarily believe, but I wish you the best. <laughs> Ah! Oh. I think we're good. Oh! Hey, don't do this to us! 16 hours left, and we just keep running into problems. And problems. And then suddenly, everything just started going right. One more, one more. Just kidding. More, there, just more problems. At this moment, everything just seemed to be going wrong. Our cutoff time to be done is midnight. Yeah. We're getting a few more shots and then we're calling it. Hopefully this turns out. I love that pause in the song. Both the songs that I'm using in this commercial are ones that I found earlier on Artlist, and it was so fun actually filming the scene to the music. I've been using Artlist for years now. So often music libraries sound very stock, meaning the song doesn't really have much character or life in it. But with Artlist, I feel like I can always find music that literally sounds like it was scored for my movie or commercial. Listen to this song. That's just one of the songs that I love, but Artlist is literally full of amazing music. If you want to try Artlist, click the link in the description and you'll get two free months added to your annual subscription. Thank you Artlist for sponsoring this video. It is 2.49 a.m. I need to get back to work. There's something kind of magical about editing throughout the night. I think it's just the fact that everybody else is asleep really makes me feel like I'm in my own world. It's almost like I'm not even editing a video. I'm just doing like a secret mission that nobody knows about. Okay, it is 4.03 a.m. I think it might be best for me to sleep for like an hour. After my three hours of sleep, I decided to try my hand at some visual effects. Which is kind of funny because, well, I don't really know how to do visual effects. But at this point, I'm so sleep deprived, I'm kind of just doing things and not really thinking about it. So we'll just see how they turn out. So click, click, just a few clicks of the mouse, and wait. Okay, what the heck, why does that actually look good? Click, click, click. Wait, I'm shocked, is this actually working? He's like 
cracking it and it just all works together so well. So the finished shot looks a little something like this. I'm just so excited because I've never actually had green screen turn out before. So this is so fun. This is making staying up all night worth it. After finishing the visual effects, Jake came back over to film the final scene and record the sound effects. And I also gave him a sneak peek of the commercial. These hallway shots are nuts. Dude, that came out so sick. What do you think? It's insane. That's insane. That's so good. There's problems, but it's gonna work. Another problem is that we're running out of time. So we went back into the hallway to film the final scene of the commercial. Oh, this shot looks good, Jake. Me at the pool. Oh yeah, and we also recorded all the sounds. so weird. At this point, I can see the finish line, but as I was finishing the sound design, I realized that I forgot about a crucial detail. A test test. I just realized I need to do voiceover for the ending of this. I was not planning on acting in this commercial, but I'm gonna sneak my way in there. My line of choice at the moment is... Wait, what was it? Oh no. You guys, my brain is fried. I need to remember this line. Eat Joyride? I guess I can just say Joyride. Uncommon candy. All right, let's do it. Escape the sugar trap. Joyride. Uncommon candy. I think that's okay. Escape the sugar trap. I feel like my eyes are burning out of my skull. Oh my gosh. Just watching it back, making sure there's no mistakes. There's definitely some masking that I could have done to take out some mistakes, but I just don't have time to do it. Don't have time. <laughs> We're done. Ahead of schedule, it's 2.47. If you wanna watch the commercial, you can click the link right here. I'm gonna take a nap at 3 p.m. during the day. I'll see you guys in the next video.